fairly common scenario in Angular is to just loop through a list of data. And then when you click on one of the lists, you want to edit that value and uh, type something new. But usually you don't want to update just what's in like a row or something. So instead of updating this, let's look at a way to make a temporary copy and then, uh, and then update. So right now I have uh, my model bound to the selected contact. What I'm actually gonna do is change this to a contact copy. And then when I select my contact, I will say this uh, selected or contact copy is angular copy. And this angular.copy method is a helper function which uh, allows you to make a deep copy of uh, whatever you whatever you use here. So I'm going to make a deep copy of the contact and I'm still going to store the selected contact here so that I can update it later. So if I make this deep copy and just as a good practice we'll have a contact copy here as well. If I make this deep copy I can actually click now and get the value and nothing changes just like we want. Um, so let's implement what happens when we save. So when I click on save, I have app save contact. So let's say this save contact. And then we're going to take the value of the contact copy and then assign it to the selected contact. And this is going to break on purpose um, just to show you why. So uh, contact copy. So you'll see when we do this, I hit save, nothing happens. Um, that's because we're actually overwriting what selected contact is and we're reassigning it to something else. Or what we actually want to do is just update one of the properties on this. And in this scenario, we're updating the first name. So if I come in here and click Angela, delete a few characters and hit save, you'll see that An Angela changed to uh, Angel. Or was it Angelica? Changed to Angel. If I click Amory, I can save and click on Wendy and make it William. So you can see the process here is, you know, simple table just looping through the app contacts. And when I click on one, it's going to select it and pass in the current contact. And then when I update my input here, um, I bind it to the contact copy, not the selected contact so that the, the copy of the contact can be updated. And then when I'm done with that copy, I'm going to take the property off of the copy and assign it to the property on the selected contact object. 